all three U.S. airlines have now announced they are suspending flights to China, uh, most through the end of March, one through the end of April. And obviously this is in response to the growing concern over coronavirus, uh, weakening demand, and just not wanting to put people in harm's way. At this point, it's a uh, advisory against going to China. It is not a prohibition. Uh, so if you can find an airline that continues to fly there, uh, it, it's at your discretion or your own risk. You know, I think why they decided to do this is, is probably a multi-pronged approach to it. I think you obviously have, with the new State Department warning, uh, advising people against traveling to China, that clearly has played a role between the airline's decision uh, coming today. Uh, but I think also, you know, they have flight attendants and crews and other workers that by continuing these flights, they're continuing to fly in and out of a zone right now where the U.S. government is recommending Americans don't travel to. So I think it's probably some combination of those, those things and uh, not to be underestimated is uh, weakening demand uh, between just general concerns and with the actual uh, government, U.S. government warning against travel to China. Uh, I think it's safe to say that demand for those flights is probably as low as it's been in a while.